Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy Paul Bentulin and I'm a Houston based photographer and videographer. And on this channel, we do product reviews, document our outdoor and off road adventures, and do DIY projects around the house. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. On today's video, we are going to be installing and reviewing the brand new product from Mockins. In a previous video, we reviewed their kayak bed extender and I was thoroughly impressed. They wanted to collaborate again, so they went ahead and sent over their cargo ramp carrier for the 2019 Ford Ranger. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, everyone, as you can see here, this is all the required hardware and parts needed to install the Mockins ramp carrier onto your hitch receiver. We're gonna start from the left to the right and with the first piece being the hitch tube. In a previous iteration, I believe Mockins had the hitch tube separate from the connector plates. In this iteration, they are welded together. Next to this is the short arm. The short arm will actually insert into both the hitch tube and the hitch receiver. At the top, we've got four 15 millimeter M16 bolts with included washers and locking nuts. Underneath the bolts, we have our spring locks. We've got a set of four. Underneath the spring locks, we have two fixator plates. This is to connect the basket and the ramp. At the top, you see we have two 12 millimeter pins with two included safety clips, a single bolt and two 75 millimeter bolts that include a standard washer, a locking washer and a locking nut. We've got our included hitch lock. It comes with a pair of two keys. I keep one in a safe place in case I lose my key that's attached to my key ring to my truck. Underneath this, we've got two small reflector stickers, a pair of red and white. The longer reflector strip will be placed vertically in the middle of the basket when it's in a vertical slash standby position. And last but not least, we've got our hitch stabilizer. Guys, this is all of the hardware and parts included. They should include wrenches with the kit. I ended up using my own tools to get everything tightened down. To begin assembly, grab a fixator plate and two 15 millimeter bolts. Ensure that the carrier is in a vertical upright position and place the first fixator plate on the inside of the carrier basket. Grab your washer, lock washer, and locking nut, and make sure that the head of the bolt is being installed from the inside of the basket. Repeat this on the other side. This is to ensure that when you are operating the carrier from a open position to a closed position or vice versa, that you are able to clear those bolts. If you installed it opposite and had the locking nut on the inside, it will cause a block and you will not be able to operate it properly. Moving on to our spring locks. Go ahead and grab a pair and we will begin the installation. On the front of the Mockins logo and on the other end, you'll see two small holes where these will be installed. Go ahead and remove one of the locking nuts and once you are ready, place them in the associated hole. Then you will place the remaining locking nut on the other end to ensure the pin does not become loose or wiggle. As you can see here, this is what is holding the ramp in place. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down once everything has cleared and everything is in the correct place. Moving on to the short arm and carrier basket, grab your three 75 millimeter bolts and the holes that are widest apart will connect to the carrier basket. As you can see here, use one of the 75 millimeter bolts that only come with a locking nut. As you can see, there is a blue inline. And then on the bottom, you just attach the washer, locking washer and locking nut. Now we are going to connect the hitch tube to the short arm. And this one's pretty obvious. The instructions were a bit unclear, but we're going to place the permanent bolt fixture in that hole, which is closest to the extended tube. And then on the bottom and the first top hole, that's where you will put the pins with the safety clips. If either of those pins were to fall out, they would back each other up. And now converting this into the standby position, you can rotate the hitch tube. And again, this one's pretty obvious where the pins go because one of the holes will actually be blocked by the tube itself. 
so you'll understand where to put them because there's only two options uh, available. Once those are installed, it's time to tighten up and get on the truck. I was able to get the carrier installed on my hitch by myself. This thing fully assembled, it weighs about 77 pounds. So if at all possible, try and get two people to reduce strain on yourself. Put the hitch lock in and locked it up. And to install the hitch stabilizer, make sure the raised lip is facing the Mockins carrier itself. Throw on the washer, locking washer, and locking nut, and you are good to go. And now we are putting the Mockins ramp carrier to its very first test. The ramp comes pre-installed with a rubber seal so that it acts as an anti-slip as well as protects the surface that you are placing it down on. I do have to say that operating the ramp carrier, opening it up, and uh, securing it, locking it, as well as storing it is very smooth, very flawless. Mockins does provide a set of four loop straps and four ratchet straps to secure your load in case you didn't own uh, any prior to purchasing the carrier. I would say that they are decent for what they are and it will definitely help you secure your load onto the carrier. Since the max capacity of this carrier is about 500 pounds, which I probably won't be testing 500 pounds on this, um, I probably would limit it to maximum of 400 pounds. Just because, you know, God forbid anything happens, I don't want something to be falling onto the road. Again, it's, it's made out of heavy duty steel and it definitely feels like a hefty product. And just do your due diligence, make sure all your hardware is secured, tight, and installed properly again we we've driven multiple hours with this thing on the back and it's been it's been fine speeds ranging from you know 10 to 75 80 miles per hour here we are filling up the carrier with our camping gear typically we would throw all this in the truck bed but now we'll be able to free up some space and bring additional items or you know have more room to pull things out uh, and now we are going to show you the differences of having the hitch stabilizer on and without. As you can see here, the difference is very noticeable. Here we're only driving about 10, 15 miles an hour. And as you can see, the hitch is wobbling like crazy. And once we put the hitch stabilizer on, even in freeway highway speeds, it's not moving an inch. The Mockins ramp carrier can fit a variety of different items onto its basket. As you see here, we are loading up our lawnmower and our dog, Buddy. He just needed a place to sit. He's just hanging out with me. And even our mini horse, Cowboy. He's about 160 pounds. If you just need a place to hang out and chill, it can handle me too. I'm 185 pounds. And uh, yeah, if you just want a place to sit and just hang out, the carrier can do it all. Now the ultimate test uh, was loading up our four burner propane grill on here and traveling from our part of town to our friend's house to give them our grill. And I have to say, even though it was a bit nerve wracking, at times the Mockins carrier held up. Um, please ensure you're not going over the capacity, weight capacity, and ensure you know your vehicle's tongue weight capacity and hitch class. Uh, my Ranger has a class three hitch and it can definitely handle the uh, weight of the grill. You can see there. Do everything safely, tie everything down, and ensure your vehicle can handle the weight and you should be good to go. The Mockins carrier can handle it. Alright guys, we are at the final thoughts portion of the video. Again, thank you Malkins for sending over the products. 
Uh, they are not paying me to say any of this, but they did send us this product for review and collaboration. I cannot recommend this product enough. Just like their truck bed extender, this thing is made out of heavy duty steel. It held up through our rigorous testing even though at times we were a little bit nervous just because it was our first time adding a hitch carrier to uh, my truck, but it held up just perfectly, no loose parts, and assembly was easy, operation was smooth, and guys, again, if you're looking to expand the capacity of your truck bed, if you're looking to add additional storage onto your vehicle, definitely grab this ramp carrier. It comes with a ramp so you can load up things with ease, save your back, and extend the capacity of your storage needs. I'm very happy to add this to my arsenal of tools and uh, just makes your life a little bit easier. Thank you, Mockins. Thank you everybody for watching to the end of the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you like this kind of content. Thank you everyone for checking the video out and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.